Alright, hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Here we are in the main foyer of Gruntilda's lair. Uh, we just finished up Mumbo's Mountain in the last world, and uh, now we're heading to the next world. So I probably should have shown this before, but you'll see these note doors around. I suppose bottles will explain. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, jam jars. It's not that simple to open it. You must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Uh, okay, so we've got 100 notes, so uh, we should be fine to open the door. There we go. Alright, good work, team. Okay, we move on. That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. <laughs> Alright, here's our next world. Apparently we only needed two Jiggies to do this, and we have a whopping 11. Wait, why do we only have 11? Shouldn't we have 12? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, we already used one on the, uh, on the original Mumbo's Mountain door, and that does get subtracted from your total. Alright, to remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button, but once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Alright, well, let's just complete the puzzle, and that puts us at uh, nine jiggies, and, uh, opens up the next world. Treasure Trove Cove. So that's our next destination. Uh, let's see, I don't remember exactly how to get there, but I suppose I'll probably figure it out. By the way, one of the coolest things about this game is the way the music works, because it all has, like, the same theme, but, like, different variations on the theme happen in different places. Like, you see how it just changed to this kind of sea shanty kind of, uh, tune? Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about pretty cool, I think. And that happens, like, in all the worlds. Like, everywhere. It's pretty pretty neat. Alright, here's the next world. Treasure Trove Cove. Ahoy there! This be Treasure Trove Cove. There be two new foods <laughs> for ye to find. Alright, let's get this Jinjo right there. And, uh, those four notes. And continue on. There are crabs in this world. And, uh, at least I think that's what you'd call them. And, um, we can just attack them just like the other enemies. Sometimes they might require two hits, but no big deal. Uh, let's see. How about this guy? Hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, Crustacean. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, Shellhead. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I think we have to... This is like a boss battle. Wait for an opening. Kabow. Just attack. Rawr, you hurt Nipper. Makes me mad. Okay, this is actually, you know, pretty easy, especially for a boss fight, but I guess it's like the first official one. Ooh, well, right as I say, it's pretty easy. Alright. Just three hits. I guess Conga might have been the first, the very first boss fight, but whatever. There are some notes in here, so let's pick them up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Alright, ten notes. Not a bad start. And there's a jigsaw in here. Shoot. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. They're bothering me. Oops. Well, it's not like... Alright, is there anything else in this room? Or just just the jiggy? Oh, well, that thing. But, uh, that's no big deal. I guess we could pick that up. And there we go. That's our first jiggy in Treasure Trove Cove. But as you can see, this has already taken a bit longer than Mumbo's Mountain took. Not to mention the world is much more expansive than uh, the original, or than the, than the first one, I mean. So yeah, that trend will continue. Not necessarily with the expansion, but with the difficulty at which the Jiggies will uh, uh, be found. Ooh, there are red feathers up there. We'll worry about those a little bit later. Uh, let's see. Any others? There are some notes. I know there are notes in the tree. That's why I've been looking up. Because it can be a real pain if you miss one tree worth of notes. 
because uh, there's a bunch of trees, so you don't necessarily know which one you missed. So it's best to just get them all at the start. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's head up in this direction. Alright, Bottles, what you got? This is Kazooie's Shock Jump Disc. Find me, and I'll tell you how to use it. Yes, we found you, Bottles. You're, you are right next to it. You'll reach new heights with my Shock Jump Spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. <laughs> Don't worry. The turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a Shock Jump Disc, then press and hold A. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Boom. You go way up high. Oh, there's a Mumbo Token. There is no Mumbo's Hut in this world, so, uh, don't be on the lookout for that. But there are still Mumbo Tokens, which will be used in a later world. So yeah, you can, uh, as long as you land somewhere, whether it be on the actual pad, or if you jump off like that, you'll still just fly up in the air. So, never float your boat as long as you press and hold A. Okay, some notes up here. Oop, don't get knocked off by the crustacean. Alright, there we go. 23, 4. These are kind of scary because they're right up at the edge of the uh, of the rock there. Oh, hey, we can zoom out. I forgot you could, like, zoom out and zoom in. Let's, uh, I think zoomed out is a little bit easier. Then we can see what's inside these guys. There are notes in this one. There aren't notes in every single one, just kind of like the trees. But, uh, yeah, watch out for the teeth. They do... They do sting. Oh, red feathers. Uh, we don't need those yet. We, I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly. What? Kazooie can fly? I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, okay. I guess they just spoiled it. Way to go, red feathers. Um, yeah, Kazooie learns how to fly, and pretty soon as well. Um, alright, let's continue up here. I don't really know. I don't have, like, a specific... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't have, like, a specific path that I'm going... Uh-oh. Yeah, if you fall in the water, this shark will come after you, so... Try not to stay in the water for too long at a time. Alright, we'll just go up that thing later. Oh, actually... Let's go over here. And zoom out a little bit. Often the camera will automatically zoom in. So... You gotta remember to zoom out now and then. Oops, watch out for the shark. If he gets you, you'll just lose one life, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it can be a bit of a bother. Alright, there we go. I thought there was a... Isn't there a... Like a... Yeah, there's a jiggy right here. That's pretty good. Alright, that's our second jiggy in Treasure Trove Cove. Now, I think there's also a honeycomb piece around here somewhere. So I'll go ahead and suicide it into the water and look for it. Uh, you don't want to die in the world because then you lose all your notes that you had collected. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna get us. Wait, did we even lose life there because I ground pounded him? It didn't look like it. Yeah, when you're underwater you see this little blue bar that represents your air, and yeah, it'll steadily decrease as you, uh, continue in to remain underwater, but obviously it refills when you go above water. Uh, okay, so, anything in here? No. Uh, up to about nine minutes. That's not too bad, mm, but I don't know. I don't know where to go next, because... I don't, like I said, I don't have a specific path that I'm taking here. I'm just doing this off memory. But that's, that's cool. It's the way it's supposed to be done, right? No, I think there's, there's something over here. I don't know why they would have this little rock if, uh, there wasn't something important. Oh, look. Yeah, it's a little blue pad thing. Yeah, we can't use that yet. But, uh, we will be able to eventually. Alright, anything up here worth uh, acquiring? Just some eggs and that mine, which we probably don't want to run into because it wouldn't explode. Uh, is there, I think there's, for some reason, I think, yeah, there's a jiggy right there. Uh, any notes around here? Well, there's a life. Not the most useful thing, but, uh, hey, doesn't hurt. As long as we make this jump successfully. Uh, Alright, let's just get that jiggy. 
Alright, hurry up. We're almost coming up on 11 minutes. Alright, that's the third jigsaw piece, and uh, I think that's all we'll have time for in this video. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Thanks for watching.